Good morning, class five. Um, welcome to Wednesday's Maths. Um, today we're going to have a, a little bit more of a look at line graphs and going to see if we can use them to solve some problems. Our problems today are all about holidays because I'm really wishing that I could go on holiday. So I'm imagining that I'm there on that beach about to jump in that water. Can you imagine that too? I wonder where you would go on holiday if you could go on holiday right now. Um, so we're going to use some line graph to solve some problems. And here we go. We've got some temperature graphs here that show the temperature over different times in different places. Can you see any similarities or differences between the graphs? So we've got a graph here about Cyprus, a, a graph here about Como Samu, uh, Barcelona and Mexico. And you can see some similarities and some differences. So what do you notice that's the same? Have you noticed that the temperature is the vertical axis on all of the graphs? Have you noticed that they've all got time along the bottom? And that's probably where our similarities end because they don't all go up to 40 degrees. This one here goes up to 30, but they do all start at zero on the vertical axes. You can see that we've got different ways of writing the times underneath each one. So one, some of them have got AM, PM times. Some of them have got 24 hour clock times. And some of them have got um, AM and PM times. So we'll see, uh, there are some differences. We can also see that the actual graphs all look different. Some of them have um, steep lines going up, some steeper parts of it. They're all different shapes, graphs, they've all got different spiky parts on it. Some of them have got some flat lines on them and some of them haven't. So we've got all different types of So here we've got an, a question about the graph. Can you work out which graph they could be referring to? What was the temperature difference between 9 o'clock and 1500? What's the temperature difference between 9 o'clock and 1500? So which graphs could we possibly be talking about? So are there any graphs that would show us the temperature difference between those times? So what about this one here? That shows us nine o'clock to 1500. So could it be that one? This one's at nine o'clock till midnight. Could it be that one? 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Could it be that one? Nine o'clock to 1500. Could be that one. So which graphs do you think it's referring to? So it was referring to Mexico and Cyprus. Were you right? So look at the following questions and answers and work out which graph they could be re referring to. So approximately how long did the temperature remain stable at 20 degrees? So if something stays stable, it means that it doesn't change. So we're looking for stable bits of the graph. So those are straight bits, flat bits on the graph at 20 degrees. So if we start with Barcelona, does this have a flat part on the graph at all? No. So the temperature is constantly changing in Barcelona. It never stays the same. It's never got a stable temperature. Let's have a look for Mexico. Here it's got a straight bit, so it's got a stable part. So from 11 till 12, the temperature stayed the same. But did it stay the same at 20 degrees? No, it didn't. It was in between 10 and 20. What temperature would that be? That's right, 15 degrees. And um, here we've got a flat part of this graph here and here. And is one of those at 20 degrees? Oh, yes, it is. Maybe that's the graph we're referring to. Let's just check the final graph. Here we have got a straight part and that straight part is 20 degrees. 
So how long on this graph is it at 20 degrees from 11 till 12? And how long is it at 20 degrees on this graph from 10.45 to 11? Can you work that out? Let's see if you're right. Okay, so those were the two graphs, so we got that right. And it was an hour in Cyprus and 15 minutes in Corsami. So look at the following questions and answers. Which graph could it be referring to? What was the temperature at 10.30? So for each graph, we need to find where 10.30 is. So on our Cyprus graph, we've got 10 o'clock. What's, where would 10.30 be on this graph? So we'd put our ruler in between halfway, remember 10.30 is halfway between 10 and 11. So we'd put our ruler on there and then we'd look across to see what temperature that would be. So approximately 15 degrees at half past 10. Half past 10 is marked on this graph here. So we just have to look at the line and again, go along to see where it is. And it's roughly about halfway between 20 and 30. What would that be? And here, 10.30 would be about halfway between 10 and 20. And 10.30 would be here and a bit higher up, maybe 18 degrees. So what was the temperature at 10.30? We could use the Barcelona graph, but we could actually find that information out from any of the graphs on here. But it's the only one using the 12 hour clock time. Okay. How much did the temperature increase between 9.30 and 10 p.m.? So is there any graphs on here that go into that time zone? The 10, 9.30 at night and 10 p.m. Okay, so these are all morning times. These are all morning times. These are all morning times. This is the only one that's got midnight on it. So these must be p.m. times. And 9.30, the temperature was 10 degrees. And at 10 o'clock, the temperature was 20 degrees. So how much did the temperature increase? 10 degrees to 20 degrees. Okay. So our next, po our next uh, problem is the Kellets and the Mysteries are going on a holiday. They decided to go to Cornwall and they're going to travel to Cornwall separately. They booked an apartment with a shared pool and on holiday, they plan to go swimming, eat at restaurants, fly kites on the beach, take a boat ride and go fishing. So they travelled by family to Cornwall by car. So that's the mystery family. And the Kellets here, they decide to go by train. And you can see we've got a graph of how they get there. What time did each of the families set off? So we need to have a look at the bottom of the graph. So when they set it off, that's at zero kilometres along here. So the mystery family are in green. What time did they set off? Well, their zero points to the eight o'clock time. The zero on the uh, Kellett family points to 8.30. So let's see what time they set off. They set off at eight o'clock and 8.30. Which family had the fastest journey? Okay, so we know that the uh, mysteries family set off at eight o'clock. What time did they arrive? Okay, at 1400 in the afternoon. So how long did it take them? And the Kellett set off at 8.30 and they arrived at 1.30. So it, they were the fastest because they set off later and arrived earlier. Okay. The mystery family stopped at a motorway service station twice. What times did they stop? 
and how long did they stop for each time? So remember we're looking for a stable flat part of the graph because they're not traveling any distance. So we're looking for a point on the graph when it doesn't go up because they're not traveling at that time. So we're looking for the horizontal parts um, along their journey. So the mystery family, they stopped at this time here at 10 o'clock and then they started to increase their journey at 10.30. So they stopped between 10 and 10.30. So how long was that? And here we've got another flat part here where they must have stopped again. They stopped at 12 o'clock till 1 o'clock. So can you work out how long they stopped for each time? Yeah, and the answer is they stopped at 10 o'clock for 30 minutes and 12 o'clock for one hour. Did you get that right? So the Kellett family, this time on the purple graph, they stopped at different times on their journey. How many times did they stop? So have a look on the graph. How many times was the graph straight when they weren't travelling any distances? So how many times did they stop? And can you think of a reason why they might have stopped? Remember, the Kellett family were travelling by train. So let's have a look at the answer, see if you were right. So they stopped three different times. Did you get that? At 9 o'clock, 10.30 and 12.30. And why might they have stopped? They have stopped at different stations to change trains. Did both families travel the same distance overall? Well, the Kellett family travelled this many kilometres. So somewhere between 250. And if we think about 300, we've got five marks between there. So there's a difference of 50. Each mark would be worth 50 divided by 5, 10 each. So we've got it halfway between that 10 mark. So we're going to go up to 260 and then halfway 265. And both families travelled the same amount. They both stopped at 265 kilometres. Let's see if we're right. They both travelled 265 kilometres. Who had travelled the furthest by 10 o'clock? So if we look here at 10 o'clock, the mystery family had, had uh, travelled just over 110 kilometres, 115 kilometres, but the Kellett family at 10 o'clock had only travelled maybe 90 kilometres. So their ruler is really handy for looking at the time and then reading across what the distance is. Okay, they travelled 115 kilometres by 10 o'clock compared to the Kellett family who'd only travelled 90 kilometres. Okay, when the Kellett stopped at 12.30, they'd travelled 230. They needed to travel 265 altogether. So they still had... 55 kilometres left. I think they had 35 kilometres left. This is the right answer here. I'm not sure where that, that one comes from. Okay, so you've got some sheets in your um, on the website uh, for some holiday problems for you to have a go at answering some questions from some graphs. So good luck with that. Bye for now.